Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Nick. Right, I'm actually sat outside the doctor's surgery at the moment. Andrea's in there getting her flu jab. She has a free flu jab every year. Um, I'm not quite sure why she gets one. Oh no, I do. Actually, a fact you may not know about Andrea is she had open heart surgery um, in 2006, I think it was, the year we got married. Um, and ever since then she's had a flu jab. So yeah, anyway, we are off to a um, another jumble sale. As soon as Andrea's out of the doctors, we're gonna drive around, it's only about like two minutes away. And yeah, we're gonna be, it's now 12 minutes past nine and it starts at 10 o'clock. So we're gonna be pretty early for this. So we'll see how near the front of the queue we are this time. Hopefully I'll get some footage while we're in there. And um, if we get some decent stuff, We'll do a haul again and show you what we got. Anyway, I'll see you a bit later. Bye. Hi guys, right, we're now at the venue and there's only one person in the kit. Well, there was, she's just vanished. Where's that lady? Well, she might be helping, to be honest. Oh. She might not be in the queue. So we may be the first people here, in stark contrast to last week. Anyway, Andrea's with us now, say hi. Hello. How was your flu jab? Was that fun? No. <laughs> it's all right. It's so quick. You yeah, were in there like really a minute. Quick. Yeah, you'd hardly feel it. Yeah. And I was saying just before I did an intro that um, you get a flu jab because of your heart surgery. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I was saying, Andrew had heart surgery. Did I get the year right? What year did you have? 2007. Seven. Oh, wrong. Yeah, I said it was 2006. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, we are going to stay in the car because it's actually really cold out there and see if a form starts to queue. A form starts a to queue. A form starts to queue. Oh my God, sorry, it's a, it's early. Well, I can't even say that, it's 9.20. It's early for you. It's early for me. <laughs> not really, I'd normally be up at the Boots house. Yeah, but not necessarily awake. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, so we're gonna chill out in the car for God knows how long and amuse ourselves for a bit. So yeah, I'll catch you later. Hello again, right, we've just come out of the uh, jumble and it was interesting, wasn't it? Mm. They had, they sold you a bag. A big bag was five pounds. That was like a big bin sack type thing. Um, oh. So we managed to fill two of those. Like absolutely ram them, it was ridiculous. So we ended up buying a smaller bag for two pounds at the end as well. Yeah, and they were like pedal bin liners, weren't they? Yeah, got loads of stuff, a load of media, um, a few toys and games clothing yeah. yeah and i found a hero quest yeah andrea found hero quest the board game probably the best find i don't know well, i can't I remember was what i got excited when i saw it yeah <laughs> but yeah because it was filler bag it was just kind of it was weird it was just yeah, kind of grab anything like, oh i can have this and just put it in my bag oh i can have yeah, this it felt really odd yeah it's just like it was like supermarket sweep really wasn't yeah, it yeah yeah like, but it paid off it being you know about we were third i think in the queue in the end because I was first to the media. But weirdly, I was being selective. I went through the media and just pulled out the good stuff. And then I came back round and saw a bloke just emptying the crates into his bag. So I thought, yeah, it's fill a bag. And I've got this massive bin bag. So I just joined in and between me and this other bloke, we emptied the entire crate of DVDs into our bags. But the, nobody cared because it was filler bag and that, they just wanted rid of the stuff. And we had quite a chat yeah. with the ladies there. You, yeah, you they met were some, really friendly. You met some of your old primary school oh, teachers. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I bumped into my maths teacher from um, secondary school and had quite a chat with her. And then I saw my primary school teacher who remembered me still and my brother. <laughs> so so that, was, that was quite surreal. But nice to see them. It was not, oh, they were very grey and it just made me feel a bit old all of a sudden. It's a small <laughs> world. So yeah, now we are going to go home. Um, we've got to go to a party. It's your dad's birthday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've got quite a busy day. But we will do a roundup of the junk that we've managed to fill a bag with at some point soon. Yep. Hello again. It's now Monday. And we're going to do a quick run through of all the stuff we did get. Yeah. So, uh, you've already mentioned this in the car, but yeah. do you want to show your best pickup from the jumble? And here it is. Good old Hero Quest. Now, I haven't checked it 
completely yet, but I have had a peek inside and it, I think it's going to be good because everything is bagged in here. Not sealed, but the previous owner has gone to the trouble of keeping it all neat in little bags. Yeah. It was difficult to check at the jumble sale because it was all taped up and it was literally full of bags, so just grab what you can really, so you just have to take a chance. Yeah, well we weren't going to leave it behind regardless, no. I mean parts for these are worth good money anyway. Um, yeah, I mean this could be up to £100 um, on Amazon, the cheapest use is 125 currently. So yeah, I mean we probably would have, we spent £13.50. Mm -hmm. Which is a strange number, I know, when it was a bag was a fiver, the small bag was two pounds, but we'll explain that in a minute. Um, and we we would have paid that just for this. So the way in my head I see it is we paid £13.50 for this, and everything else we're going to show you was free. That's how I've kind of seen it in my head. But yeah, £13.50, we bought two big bin bags that we filled up, and then... We um, found a few more bits, so we had to buy a little bag that was two pounds. Yeah, we were hoping to squeeze them in, but <laughs> it wasn't happening. <laughs> it was getting ridiculous. It was like wandering around with a bin bag like this, just yeah. stuff. I saw I saw one man walk past me, and his bag just gave way, and just everything just spilled <laughs> out was, of it. It was like oh. it was quite comical. We weren't the only people there stuffing our bags yeah. full. It was a full-on like tat riot, really, yeah, it wasn't was. it? <laughs> but. Yeah, there was also some stuff that was priced on the stalls. It was really odd, wasn't it? Because mm. we found there was a camera. Didn't we pay a pound for that camera? Yeah. And a coat I paid 50p for. So that's how we got to that £13.50 spent. Yeah. Anyway, so that was Andrea's favourite pickup. Mine would have been the media. Like I said in the car, I went straight for these trays of media and did my usual thing and picked out the sealed stuff, picked out a couple of box sets and things and then came back round and just grabbed everything else. Um, so there was loads, there's a little pile, just grab that pile there. There's a pile of duds, which are these, which I'm just gonna give to charity. Um, the Band of Brothers is missing a disc. Um, this is a Chinese import thing and the discs are damaged anyway. So yeah, that's a little charity donation. And then, this lot is all going for well, the Bastille, I think I'm going to keep. This is all going to uh, FBA. That's that, with some sealed stuff and just some stuff that has good value on FBA. Um, there's about £200 worth just there. And then this stack um, is all for eBay. Um, not great values in it, but it's just about worth selling. There's about another £60 worth there. So that's all the stuff that I'm listing. And then also there was, this is all going to um, either Music Magpie or Ziffit. Somebody recommended Ziffit. I think it was Joe actually. Um, so I'm going to have a play around with those, see which give me better values. A load of bog standard stuff that's really not worth listing. And those as well. So that was the media. And like we said, if effectively all of that cost us nothing. So the FBA and eBay stuff is pretty nice when you think what we're going to get back yeah, from that. That's obviously before fees. And media, I do free shipping on eBay. So the postage has got to come off that as well. But yeah. All good stuff. Right, what are we going to show now? Do you want to, what bits have you got yeah, there? Yeah, um, I picked up a Thomas the Tank Engine duvet set, which I was quite chuffed with. It's in really nice condition. We have sold so many of those over the years. When we first started doing eBay, we were doing those. Yeah. Way back when. I haven't been quite as efficient as you. I haven't looked up prices, sorry. <laughs> um, but I was quite chuffed with that. This is a Nike body warmer. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it does have a logo. I yeah. can't say so I couldn't see a logo. It's so dark, it's difficult to see. Yeah. So yeah, that was one of the better things. Um, or, uh, everything else the... was quite bog standard, really. The gilet. 
a gilet. A gilet. A gilet. Yes. Um, if you want to be all posh about it. The next coat. Um, I didn't get involved with the clothing. Oh, I did no. find one odd clothing item, which I'll show in a bit, but you were rummaging in yeah, clothes. I, I, I really hate rummaging through clothes at a boot, uh, a boot sale, a jumble sale, because people are always elbowing you out the way and the clothes are flying everywhere. Yeah. But once I'd been round and looked at everything and, and Nick was going around together and looking at other things, I thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look. So I only picked up a few bits, but I was really quite chuffed with this one. Um, this is, getting it the right way up, this is a Mark Jacobs top. You can see the label there. Um, he's a um, fashion designer, so I'm hoping to get a fair amount for, for that one. Um, apart from that, there's a few um, kids' bits. Yeah, you got some nice baby bits. Yeah, a few little baby bits. And yeah, yeah. nothing amazing. That was all good. Um, oh, a few bits of sealed media. It was hard to get your head around the concept of filler bag, wasn't it, for a while? It was. Because yeah. everything was laid out on tables and there were people stood behind the tables, but it was just grab anything you like. So, yeah, it took me a while to get into yeah. the headspace of just grab everything and chuck it in your bag. It felt wrong to just pick something up and put it in your bag. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, anyway, some, some media bits, um, three and a half inch floppies, not a great deal of value in them, they're not sealed, so... Yeah, there won't be a lot in those. Some sealed BHSs. These are, are they CDRs? Yeah, CDRs, uh, full box. These I find really good for replacement cases. Um, the CDs. So a load of those, a load more of those, uh, a load of DVD rewritables. Um, oh! Yeah, VHSs. Yeah. Placement Pat. These sell quite well. Three of those. I saw somebody did a bundle of, I think it was one, two, and three of these. Um, and got about 20, 25 or something like that. And some Fireman Sam, the original Fireman Sam, as we can't, remember it. You can't it. beat the original, can you? Um... He's not See right it. now, he just doesn't look right. No. Nah. So, yeah, those will... I might scan these into FBA as well. I've sent a few of this sort of thing up to FBA and done better than eBay prices, but it's a bit hit and miss. So, yeah, I'll look into those. That's that. All right, we're going to struggle for space. Um, right, I'm just going to move some stuff around. Hold on. Okay. Now the one item of clothing I picked up, I saw this poking out of the heaps of clothing. Uh, so Leeds United top, size large I think, yeah, really really nice condition. Uh, I briefly looked this up, not much value in it, 10 to 15, so that's that. This was a bit of a fail, um, Microsoft, it's Office student and teacher but looking into prices on this it, i think it's just obsolete now yeah um but like we were saying before it was filler bags so i wouldn't i wasn't even kind of hesitating on anything that looked like it could be valuable normally i might stop and look things up yeah, and it, it changes your mindset doesn't it you start to just put stuff in your bag that you might not have bothered with yeah um i've put in like a, a mr tickle that you could squeeze him and he, he laughs and he didn't have any batteries but we got him home and he didn't work which is a shame well i made him laugh yeah. once yeah i know and, then he <laughs> and won't now, do it again and now he doesn't find yeah. me funny yeah um yeah similarly with this there was a there was a box uh, with a lot of vinyl in uh the majority of it was absolute rubbish um but i found one abba lp which is love songs and Interestingly, I can't really find this anywhere. I found it on Discogs, um, which is a site that gives you information about records. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it's a very common thing. So I may do quite well. The shame is it's got that written on it, mm -hmm. somebody's surname in pen. I don't know price-wise, really don't. It's not in great condition, the cover. 
Um, I picked up that one. This is a Krups coffee grinder. Um, I don't think it's ever been used. I've tested it, it works perfectly. You can see in there just how shiny and clean it is. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to shoot for about £12 with shipping on top on that one. This is a Rubik's Clocks puzzle. Not masses of value in these, but anything vintage Rubik's does quite well. And again, you know, in our heads, basically everything was kind of free. After that yeah. hero quest, we were just like, oh, well, let's fill up these bags with stuff. Yeah. This is nice. This is a Pokemon. Doesn't really look like Pokemon on the outside, but there's the Pokemon branding. I don't know if that's going to show. Yeah. And it's, it's all working. It's a deluxe. Hang on. It's a deluxe Pokedex. Uh, it's got little LCD games in it and all sorts of stuff. The only ones of these in, on eBay I could find um, were being sold in America. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to go price-wise. I might just aim high and wait and see what happens. Yeah, you were talking about maybe about 30. Maybe 30 and see what interest I get at that. Um, yeah, but that went in the bag. As did this, which was just a bit of a punt, really. Um, and I think it's going to be okay. It's a modern, um, like, small electric blanket, as if you just have one on your chair and sit mm -hmm. on it. I don't know. Um, but it's a, a Dreamland thing. Dreamland? Yeah. And I briefly looked into these, and people have been selling this unplugs. Just these controllers, people have been selling for fairly good money, like, sort of, but up to 15 pounds yeah. so yeah i think that was a good little pick up let me grab that for a sec a couple of standard board games there weren't many board games there were they were there, were no, there? nothing any good really um the ones that were we just grabbed straight away um articulate we've all seen that before and an upwards which i did check and is 100 percent complete it's not a great deal of money in upwards but I find it sells pretty well. And you like it. I love the game. Oh, yeah. And you're good at it. We I'm, can never beat you. I'm good at that one. Oh, these were yours. Yeah. Um, early on, I picked up um, a bag of vintage patterns. Um, I think they said they were all 60s and 70s. So, yep. yeah, I'm thinking about putting them on Etsy. So that was my idea when I picked them up. Like those. Um, this was one of the things that we paid uh, that was separately priced. Yeah, that was strange. When I first arrived and I picked up and looked at it and she said, oh, that's a pound. Then it, it sort of threw me because then I thought, well, maybe other things on the table are, <laughs> are separately priced and I don't know. And I was just putting stuff in my bag. And yeah, it was, it was bit, odd. It was a bit weird. Basically, they'd selected a few things they thought had significant value mm. but then they'd, they'd only priced it at a pound anyway it's not great it was an olympus digital camera but it's a little bit out of date uh, it's got a zoom lens it's in lovely condition um, and it does have all of the gubbins and its case and its memory card in little holder um, but I'm looking real top end of only 15 on this. So that was that. The other thing we paid extra for was that coat, which I don't have with us. Yeah, you were talked into buying so, that. Yeah, but I think it's quite a good one. Yeah, it's it's, it's nice. a, a men's um, kind of long uh, like raincoat. Yeah, it's like a walking, But it's padded, padded and warm coat. as well. I can't remember the brand, but I think the brand's yeah. quite good. Um, Again, with the whole filler bag mentality, we were just taking punts on things that look good. Mm. This was sat on a stool, and it it was open, and all I could I could see basically what you can see there. And I thought um, it looked medical, and I thought it was like a nebulizer, you know, uh, an inhaler type thing. Um, and I could see that it had some sealed bits in and stuff. What it actually is, 
is a breast pump. And when I got home and got it out and realised, I thought, oh, that's going to have no value. Who buys a second-hand breast pump? Yeah. But I looked up this brand, which is Medula. Is it Medula? Medula. Yeah. Medula. Why is it Medula? No. Oh, no, Medula. Medula. Okay. Anyway, that's the brand, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is quite a find, actually. Um, I'm pretty, I haven't really properly checked into it, but I think it's complete and I'm looking top end of about 30 quid on that. So as an extra little goodie chucked in the bag, that wasn't too bad. This again is nice. This is a modern version of a Sony, well it says Walkman on it. Uh, it's, I think it's just a radio. Yeah, FM, medium yeah, wave, long wave, tuner. digital tuner radio. So, and I was surprised. I'm looking at 25 to 30 on that as well. It's in lovely condition. It looks like it's barely been out of the box. That's the unit. So that went in the bag. Yep. It was odd that they they hadn't selected things like that to, to price up separately. Yeah, I think a lot of the time they don't really know what things are, do they? No. So that was that, and nearly there. On the Sony theme, I grabbed this basically because it was Sony. Uh, this is a dream machine, just a radio alarm. We have a similar one upstairs actually. Um, oddly, the model that we have in our bedroom, it goes for more money. This isn't great. You're looking at seven to 10 pounds. Um, but again, as another kind of freebie just chucked in the bag, yeah. not bad. Oh, and the other board game was this. I've had this before. This is the Willow game uh, based on the film. And the last one of these I had, I managed to get 20, but that I had to wait for that. And that was because the other one I had was mint unused inside. This one has been used, so don't know. But yeah, that was that. I think, oh no, that's not it, hold on. I grabbed a load of BT phones. There's that bag. And a load of Panasonic ones. And <laughs> sort of thing. Um, yeah. This sort of stuff, um, if it doesn't work or certain elements of it don't work, you can part it out mm. quite successfully, which I've done. Um, there's not a lot of money in it, and I would only recommend doing it if you're getting it for pennies. But, yeah. Yeah, for when you're basically almost getting it for free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we roughly worked out. Um, once it's all sold, we should have three or four hundred pounds easily quite possibly more than that yeah. um well yeah with the media and the hero quest that's three oh, i mean i don't know i'd be guessing but it, it was quite an epic haul for our 13 pound 50 yeah it was good fun it was good fun yeah and we were quite near the front of the queue which helped yeah. we parked right by the door of the um place in the end didn't we and then one lady turned up and then another lady turned up so we joined the queue mm -hmm. at that point out now. But by the time they opened the door, the queue was right round the, the side of the hut. It was in a scout hut. So, yeah, it was full on once they opened that door. Yeah, it wasn't as mad as I thought it would be. Not as mad as chewing. No, that was on another level. Yeah. But yeah, so it was a success. Um, so that's it. There were other bits and bobs. Uh, I did get a load of books, which, you know, books are books. And... Yeah, all the kids' clothes that you got as well. Yeah. But there you go. Nothing of note, though, really, just bog standard. We thought we'd show you the interesting bits, or what we think are interesting bits. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.